My name is Jermaine Brewer with Cypress Learning, and today I'm going to show you how to automatically create a contact role record on an opportunity using flows in Salesforce. Now, before we begin, you would need to have a custom field created called primary contact on the opportunity, or really it can be named anything you want. I just named mine primary contact because what I've experienced is sometimes your Salesforce users or your sales team, they'll go create an opportunity and they'll update a primary contact field on the opportunity, but that doesn't necessarily create a contact role. In order for Pardot to have visibility into opportunities, the contact role is the key. So you would need to add contact roles. And so it's kind of a related item. So it's separate when you create the opportunity. And there's a couple of ways you can do it, but today I'm gonna to show you how to do it with the flow. So if you go in the back end of Salesforce, you go to the gear icon and go to setup. In a quick find, you type in flows. Now I've already created my custom field called primary contact. So you would need to go create your custom field first. Then you come in here, you select flows and you would select new flow. And then you would select record triggered flow. So it's gonna launch when this record is created, updated or deleted. And that's the option we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel here cause I've already created my flow and we're gonna go through the steps I did to create it. So I'm gonna select my flow here. All right, and at the start of the flow, you wanna make sure you choose your object. So it's gonna be opportunity. And then you wanna trigger this flow when a record is created or updated. And the reason being is because what if the contact role changes and you update the primary um, contact custom field that you have on opportunity? Well, you wanna make sure that you update the contact role also. And so that will allow that to happen with this option here. And then you can leave this at all conditions are met and then you select your field. If you notice mine is primary contact, the operator is null and the value is false. So that means whenever the primary contact is not null, which is not empty, this flow is gonna trigger. And then everything else you can leave the same and then you would select save. And then you would go in and select the next element, which is gonna be create record. Once you do that, you're gonna have a couple options here. I'm gonna go into my create record element and how many records to create. I left it at one, how to set the record fields, select use separate resources and literal values. And then the object that we wanna update is the opportunity contact role. So that's the related object. And then we set our field values. So the first one here, we have contact ID and then the value is gonna bring in whatever the primary contact is on the opportunity record and then opportunity ID will bring in the opportunity here. And that's all you need and you will select save. And now once we go in on the front end of Salesforce, so we can back out of here. Also remember to save your flow and you wanna make sure it's activated so it can run. And then if we go into the front end of Salesforce, so we'll leave here. So I'm going into Salesforce. I'm gonna create an opportunity. We select new here, opportunity. Let's call it Cypress test. Fill out the mandatory fields, stage. And here's that primary contact field. And you can make this required for your Salesforce users. So we'll just use Catherine, for example. And this is just dummy data, by the way. And then we select save. So now we've created our opportunity. We look over here on the right-hand side on our related list, and there it is. We have Catherine as a contact role. So also say if Catherine happened to leave the company or we need to change who the primary contact role is, we can select details. We can come in here and edit the primary contact field. Say we change it to, let's say Betty, for example. So we choose Betty here, we select save. We go back to our related. And now you see Betty is the contact role on this opportunity. So the only other step that you would have to do is go remove the person that was previously there and then you'd have the new person as the contact role here. So I hope you liked the video. I hope this helped you out because this definitely helps me out when I have new implementations and customers ask, 
how can they have the contact role automatically updated? And this is just one of the ways you can do that using a Salesforce flow. So thank you everyone for watching. Have a good day.